Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Character Showcase. Today we are going to be showing off a new modded character and that is Atlas. This is a character that's currently a bit of a work in progress. The uh, mod is currently out in demo. I believe that's just because a few of the item sprites aren't 100% complete as well as some of the character item sprites not being complete. But this character, kind of interesting. He starts off with fairly low stats but he's got some good damage. As you can see he's kind of a sturdy boy but... Ooh, this is rather nice. Tier multiplier and a damage up right off the bat. There you go. Um, but he does have a unique thing about him. Essentially, whenever we get hit, which I'll try and show off soon without taking too much damage, we enter a new form, like a broken shell form, where we turn into tar. Kind of like that tar right there. And it gives us a pretty decent um, boon to our stats. Oh, god damn, that guy's healthy. Gives us a pretty decent boon to our stats. As well as adding some pretty, pretty difficult negatives to deal with. Once you've been hit, you're going to start bleeding health and you're going to be gaining broken hearts. But this character does, um, as you can see, now we've entered our tar form. So as you can see, we've got a huge boost to our stats here. I got hit again there. That's not great. Um, and the longer in this form, the longer chance, uh, as you just saw there, we have of taking damage. So you do have to be kind of careful and kind of quick. If you take too much damage, I believe you uh, gain a broken heart. I'm not exactly sure where that threshold lies. Um, but hopefully, we'll try and not get hit. But we can sort of try and get hit in boss fights to speed things along as long as we're comfortable in the fact that we can kill it within a certain amount of time. We don't want to leave it too long because then we could end up taking some serious damage. Uh, obviously, right now, I'm taking a bit too much damage. In fact, because of that, I'll bomb you as well. We do have to be very, very careful here. There is some risk associated with this guy. Um, and we'll keep on heading down. But I have to say, I really like the idea uh, of these two forms. One on hit and one without. And I really like the sprites so far. The theming of the character, the sprites, they're really cool, really good. Um, damage up, spawn a coin on pickup. We'll take it. Little horn here. I've got some resprite mods for different bosses. I think they look really, really nice. They're, they're very, like, cartoony, which I think fits the Isaac aesthetic a lot. There's a lot of bosses in the game that are already like that, so adding to that aesthetic is just a cherry on top sort of thing. I really like it. But as you can see at the minute, we've got some really good items, and we're kind of blasting through right now. Um... So, basically, we kind of want to try and find a setup that lets us stockpile a decent amount of health. Okay, we, we might die here. Let's get out of this room. We need to be making sure we leave rooms as soon as when we get hit, because we could find ourselves in a lot of trouble if we don't. But, yeah, we need to make sure we get some more health here. So, I'll be taking pills in case. Speed, um, speed up, look down is not bad. There's a lot of things that can go wrong for us here at Half a Heart, but I will um, I will pretend they're not going to go wrong. Some bombs here. Oh, that is a bomb, but it's not really what we wanted. Item room, will you be my savior baby? But yeah, what do you guys think of the theming of this character, the idea? I think it's really, really cool. I think it's a very good idea. We got um, Dad's Mallet here, which is an interesting one. I really like Dad's Mallet. It's a way of, like, destroy. It only uses a certain amount of charge at a time. And it's a way of us being able to destroy rocks and stuff, I believe. Um, if I come back over here, I might be able to get some health by doing this. Yeah, there you go. Look, so we can do that. Teleported to a devil deal. Wasn't expecting that, but this might, yes, give us a, uh, some health. Unfortunately, the items aren't too obtainable. That didn't actually give us a burn heart, though, if you just noticed that there. It only gave us... Um, half a heart back, which, I mean, is, is still good because we still needed it, but still wasn't expecting that too much. Oh my god. I am very, very happy with the stats we have outside of our tar form, though. Our tar form is going to be really, really strong when we need it to be, which is good because, like I said, you've kind of got a little bit of a race against time going on where you've really got to be paying attention and be as quick as you possibly can on killing things and finishing the room. So we got this. We already know what's in there. Uh, we can keep on heading down. So... I, I'm definitely looking forward to this character being complete and having all their item sprites and everything. But I do, I, I do have to say, some of the item sprites are working just reasonably fine right now. Um, we've got uh, the toothpicks here that seem to be doing a, a mighty fine job. But yeah, I, I really love the dad's mallet here. This is gonna this is gonna be a, a very very helpful thing throughout this run. I'll crack that open. I don't need to go there yet. I think we can get a secret room here. No, not quite. I thought that guy might reveal a secret room. Ooh, a look upgrade there. Really, really nice. 
Okay, let's be careful of you, because you are doing quite a lot. Don't have any familiars right now, so that doesn't matter. But yeah, also for you guys that don't watch the regular Mega, 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 Mega modded series, you'll be seeing some new mods in here. We've seen a few items already, the Golden Tooth and the Ram Head from, um, Goat Head, whatever it's called, sorry, from Something Wicked. That's, that's a mod that is releasing soon. Okay, I've been hit again here. We've got ourselves another key there. I guess. Why not? Why not? Yeah, look, some of the sprites are working just fine. Okay, Tiny Planet is an item that is risky, but I, I do love. I hold it dear to my heart. I think it's a very fun item. We've got a Stars card. Ooh, Ace of Spades is pretty good for us here, especially without any keys. So let's go back through here. And you know what? Let's just use it in this room here. It seems like a good use case to me. Yeah, that's a very, very good amount of keys, to be honest. And saving us on a room that looked particularly nasty, too. But yeah, we are going to have a little bit of trouble now hitting enemies. The one thing that, to me that this that this spells trouble in is uh, we might have a little, little bit of an issue hitting enemies in our tar form. We do get a pretty sizable tiers upgrade, so it shouldn't matter a whole hell of a lot. But it could create, it could spell disaster if we can't hit the enemies accurately and end up having to um, spend extra time in rooms. We'll have to see how that goes down, but it's it's, it's a very interesting idea. It, it incentivizes not getting hit, but also rewards getting hit. And I I, I don't know. I feel I feel like that's a really really interesting way of doing it. There's not many things that that, that do it that way, especially when they're baked into a character. But there you go. We're stomping through at the minute. How does this work against you? Okay, that did pretty well. We are. Uh, we are going to take damage here if I'm not careful, though, so let's be quick about this. Thank you. Oh, my God. <laughs> my heart, especially with right now, with the amount of health that we currently have, my heart is fluttering. It's um, it's a little bit scary whenever we get hit, because what like I know that when we start bleeding damage, things could go wrong for us. Now, one re really interesting aspect of this character that I like is that you could really play it a different way if you get yourself some renewable health or you get yourself some way of sustaining your HP more regularly. Um, you can really play this guy in a very different way where you purposely get hit. And one thing I do wonder is maybe something like the Dull Razor would shine pr pretty brightly as this character. Because if you can trigger yourself into the... Um, that doesn't work, unfortunately. If you can trigger yourself into the... Um, tar form, but you're confident in your damage and confident in your abilities to um, to then... Oh, let's kill this guy first. Oh, Spirit Shackle got stuck over there. Um, you could then um, essentially activate it on purpose without taking any damage as you enter each room, um, thus causing you to gain a big stat boost and be able to complete the room very, very quickly. I really like the idea of that, so... I think maybe a, a dull razor esque item would be a very very interesting one to have as this guy. And then as well, like I think another thing that, that this character does really well is it kind of it kind of has that tainted Maggie feel of of giving um, on hit item effects a little bit more use. Obviously, you don't really have that renewable health, and especially only having soul heart health does make that a little tricky. Um, I think that particularly could uh, could definitely be uh, a bit of trouble for you um, in in sort of having regainable health and having a amount of health to play with but if you get that then some on hit items like uh, it hurts for example that gives you that massive fire air boost could be very very good and i think getting um this here is really nice too we'll try and um mallet the wall didn't do anything it kind of mallets in a radius so like if we do this here we can see that damn it <laughs> god damn it shouldn't have done that right um should be able to get this guy easily. Hmm. Not, not, not really knowing where the secret room is this time around. Definitely seeing some eternal enemies here. The homing explosives are a, a little scary. Okay, we entered tar form there. I definitely just need more HP to play with tar form right now. I keep entering tar form and not being ready for it. Very much not being ready for it. Ooh, another luck penny. Shop could be very valuable here. Cube, baby. Hell yes. I like the way you cube. Do, 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 Oh, my God. There's like an eternal enemy in every single room at the minute. It's kind of scary. 
This is because uh, I have a, I have a few mods for my regular series that make the game more difficult, such as Eternal Enemies and a few mods that add like a little bit of boss armor to some bosses and stuff. And it's it's making things a little scary. I, I guess we'll take GB, but why not? He's a he's a good little fella. Okay, please shop. Give us some HP. That'd be very very nice. Okay, we can actually get some HP by re-rolling at least. Or hopefully, I say. It's not a guarantee. That's kind of good, but I, I need to get soul hearts. That's really good. Okay, I'll take it, I'll take it. And then we'll bomb. Of course there was a soul heart there for a microsecond and it disappeared. Keep a sack is too good not to take. That was close. I have the speed just about to get through that, but my speed isn't great here. The mallet is decent at dealing damage. It's just it's a little direct. We have to be careful with that. Nice, nice. But as you can see, it's actually the, the damage stacks up quite nicely. And we got ourselves a soul heart there. We're going to not go to that devil deal because I'd like to get angel deals in the future. And also, we just currently can't afford basically anything, so... I think, I think as this character, it would be nice to have the, uh, the blue baby effect with devil deals, where the devil deals are slightly cheaper. Um, just because I feel like maybe as this character specifically, um, needs to be a bit careful here. As this character specifically, I, I think that, um, oh, there you go. Your health is so valuable and, and it, it, having to trade it away is not really going to be a super important thing. You're probably going to want to go angel deals. So to make the devil deals a lot more viable... Um, and have the ability to trade some HP away to get into tar form every now and again. Um, it would be nice maybe to have the Devil Deals only cost one um, Soul Heart and two Soul Hearts if they're a double Devil Deal sort of thing. I think that would um, that would definitely make Devil Deals a little more fair as this character. I don't know if the developer's watching and I don't know what they think about that idea, but personally that's something I'd do to make this guy a little bit more... Uh, his, his playstyle a little bit more approachable. So we have entered tar form here, which... Honestly doesn't bode well for us because um, this is a long room But as you can see the stats that we end up getting are incredible But we've taken damage already Oh god Thank god we got that um That tinted rock there that helped us out Without that we'd have been kind of screwed there Oh no, I've, I've entered tower form again So far it's all been accidental I'll take a stars card, why not? Number one, actually, because I don't really care too much about my range. That's pretty good. Magician. The world is pretty decent for us here. Gotta be careful about this guy, because he fires our shots back at us when we hit him. In fact, I think we mallet him. Yeah. We GB bugged him, actually. You need to remember that GB bug exists. It's pretty useful. We roll that heart. Yeah, there you go. You see? You see? Look at all the splendor we got for doing that. Oh god. The, b the bomb did not stay put. I'll come back to you, bomb. Cute baby, go. <laughs> that kind of works. Wasn't ideal, but it kind of works. Right. Delete all the tears off screen. Open this up, get an item. Or just a lot of money. That's actually pretty good, to be honest, because it means our shop's going to be way more valuable. Get into our secret room here, which is unfortunately just a Terraria blob. Go back to our other secret room. We still don't have a sack room. We do have a, a planetarium boss room. I have to say, I don't think it's the best idea for us to go for it, but we'll at least check the item available to us. A blackout would be really nice here. You know what? Oh, you bastard. I gambled. I was like, I can make that. Mm. Lost the black heart immediately. And I got hit immediately upon walking in this room. This has been a very risky run, hasn't it? A very risky run. We've been sitting at low health pretty much the whole time. I don't know why. That was such a such a huge mistake on my behalf there. Should have just played it safe. But yeah, we got this room here. We have Luna... 
Luna's decent because it means secret rooms are going to give us, um, we're going to get extra secret rooms and they're going to give us soul hearts. But I, I, I honestly don't think we can actually beat that boss without dying. Because uh, there's a lot of bosses in there that I don't know the patterns of because they are new bosses. I don't really know if I, if we have the, uh, the gumption to really take a new boss on right now. If we get a few more HP bits or a really good item from our boss or whatever, then I might I might consider it because I would like Luna. Especially considering we have Card Fragment, they uh, synergize really nicely. Okay, that, that does not bode well for us. And I got hit as well. I'm going to leave and re-enter. We do have a lot of money for the next uh, the next floor, though. We can also open up this uh, gambling chest here, see what we get. Got ourselves the Rib of Greed. Um, eh, Rib of Greed's decent, but we, I, I'm just going to take what I've got right now. Okay, oh, whoa, 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 that leech, it, what the hell, that leech is insane. That leech is insane, right, I really need some extra black hearts now, game. It's becoming a necessity. Full health doesn't really help us. LSD. Neither does LSD. This might be the end of us. If we get hit early on in this fight, this could really be quite bad. The good thing is we are dealing a lot of damage to him because Tiny Planet just kind of allows us to. LSD really isn't helping right now because I just cannot see whose tiers are what. Okay. That actually went reasonably well. And we got a soul heart at the end of that. Got ourselves a world card. Adjustments rather nice here. Two bombs. Foiled death. Hermit. Oh, that's a foiled hermit. Traveling salesman. I will definitely go for that. LSD, if you could, like, stop. Humbling bundle there as well. Got a magician. I think we want to take the foiled death card down with us. And we just want to take our leave from this floor. Unfortunate, because I would like to do that extra planetarium boss, because they're really cool. But we do not, we do not have the, um, the damage to do that. Okay. Foiled death, we want to be using in a room with as many enemies as possible. I, I tried it there, because there was a lot of enemies. It could have given us a black heart. It didn't. This can't destroy these, can it? No, it can't. I didn't think so. No. Goddamn, tiny planet. Why'd you do this to me every time? Scare the bejeebus out of me. Because we don't really need our bombs for much, because we've got the mallet. I'm just trying these on the fires. Seeing if we can get lucky. Sadly not. But this has been a really interesting run. A lot of risk. A lot of risk. But we've been doing just fine. As you can see, the radius on the mallet is insane. How was I meant to dodge anything there? Okay, got you. Don't really care about picking up our bomb too much there. Okay, there's an eternal bat over there. Don't know what that does. It's dead though. God, we do kill things really fast if we hit a lot of shots. I will say that. We get almond milk. Oh, God. <laughs> That's um, a recipe for disaster, but I do love almond milk. <laughs> I think it's a really fun item, so I will definitely take it. We'll take this because we want the stats. Can you level up GB bug? Oh, you can level up freezer baby though. Probably should have done that first. No, I didn't mean to do that. Stop putting him back in. Yeah, so almond milk here. That was a door mimic. You gotta be kidding me, game. Yeah, I don't really know how this is gonna go. I have to admit. I don't really know if almond milk was gonna, is gonna be a decent pickup for us or is gonna hinder us quite a lot. I imagine it's gonna hinder us quite a lot. Let's just play it cool, people. Let's just play it cool. We now have an insane swarm of tears on screen. I think it really fits this character quite well, though. Having this swarm of, like, tar-colored tears. It just, I don't know, it fits the theme. 
It fits into what the character is quite a lot. Okay, this guy, we need to just hammer. Or we need to just reroll like I did with GB bug there by accident. Ever an eternal enemy, just, just GB bug reroll them. Hope for the best. I think that's the best way forward, to be honest. Wonder how the mother fight's gonna go. I mean, honestly, the damage we're outputting is still pretty, pretty good. Um, when we're... Uh, I might actually go and play that. Um, I could maybe do the beast here. I'm, ca I'm kind of tempted for the beast, you know. Because I have a mod that adds some stuff to the beast. That'd be kind of fun. Um, yeah, play this guy a little bit. Yeah, I gotta say, the damage is output is actually really good. Sinister Chalk, thank you. Okay, he's out of here. Fair enough. We'll take this, actually. Tears down doesn't actually count for anything. Or was it tears up shot speed down? It might have been that instead. Um, we got our full card. We are good to go. Take this fella on. Also, Sinister Chalk. Really decent item here. Ow. Oh, I just realized. This is going to be a long fight. And I just entered uh, thingy form. Okay, in here we go. Charity. I always seem to get charity in Angel Deeds. I don't like charity. It's not a good item for me because I don't donate. Um, my reflection. Um, Apollyon's crown spawned two permanent abyss locust companions. Mum's knife. Now, Mum's knife is a very good choice ordinarily, but with almond milk, I actually think it's pretty terrible. So. I don't know. My reflection speaks to me. My reflection really says something, but I would have to hurt myself to get it. So let's go with the um, the two flies. Yeah, that's decent enough. It's not super like amazing. It'd be nice if it spawned some unique unique ones rather than two regular ones, but um, it's it's good to have. A little bit of extra DPS. I definitely would have rather taken my reflection, but I don't think I could have afforded to actually get hit to take it. <laughs> I think that was a very big risk if we did that. Got an eternal boss trap room here. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna do this. I think this is probably a, a, a rather large risk for us, but I'm gambling because I wanted an item that added an immortal heart. If I can manage to keep the immortal heart outside of this room, that would be super super nice. Did this guy break apart at any point, please? Dude, this chain is like... What the hell? Stop! No! You can't be fucking serious with that bullshit. Did you see that just happened there? Okay, I'm all heart's gone. Also, it's going to be a long room, so we're going to take some damage over time here. Okay, we got a lot of health out of that. It's fine, it's fine. Get out of here, quickly. Oh my god, that was a bad decision. This is kind of fucked. Don't know who decided this was a good idea for a room. I understand you're supposed to just hit the red button, but the red button's constantly got spikes on it, so I'm just going to do it normally. Oh my god, what are these cursed rooms? These rooms are evil. Oh my god. It's okay though. We, we, we made it through. We should probably go and check out that secret room back there actually. I didn't see that before. Damn it, nothing useful for us there. We'll check our item room on the way back up. We don't need to check it now. Keep going straight to the boss now. These rooms are like so cramped. It's scary. Where'd you come from, sir? Oh no. What is with all the invincible things? Stop it with these. 
scary as hell. Okay, Black Rune kind of good here. We'll probably take that along with us. That could be really nice. It was not. We'll take a Black Rune with us though here. The shop is very invaluable for us. We can't do anything with it. I will check it though for some reason. I mean, Black Rune it? Why not? We don't need the quarter. My god. This has been a crazy run. This has been a really crazy run. I'm, I'm enjoying it a lot though. I have to say. Enjoying it a hell of a lot. Okay, nice. Whew. The tar form, it's, it, we definitely need a run that's more focused on the tar form next time. But this has still been really interesting. We'll grab this, make sure it goes to our item room on the way back up. It's gone. Just get over it. Okay, health isn't terrible. Gotta remember as well, we do have the bed, which is kind of one of the reasons I wanted to go on the, uh, the beast path. Ooh, interesting. I think... Hmm. I think quad shot, right? Because we still keep really good fire rate and we're firing a lot more tears now. Yeah, because if our tier rate halved, which it just about did, but we get four times the amount of tears, we're still, it's, it's a pretty big DPS upgrade overall, I think. I think that was worth it. I was thinking Telepathy for Dummies could have been good, though, because that is a, a very good card. A, a very good uh, space bar item. You're drunk again, aren't you? Oh, God. I stood, like, exactly perfectly at an angle for them to hit me. That was silly. Oh, God. I froze him. Nice. That helps. Oh, no. Okay, we can actually maybe get some uh, black hearts out of this room. Or we could get an eternal one of those guys. Okay, just keep going. We'll do our best. This is a hellish room. Yeah, we're, there's definitely a lot more tears on screen now. A lot more. That definitely worked out. Freeze that guy. That guy's the one we want to freeze. I'm trying to make these work whenever I can, just because they are valuable. Oh, we should go back and get that. Real quick. It's only half a heart. It's not worth much, but half a heart is better than nothing. We're still going to be low on health for the fight, I think. Even if we get some tinted... Really? I, th I didn't know those spikes were still coming up. Oh, God. Oh, God. We just took a lot of damage. Will we even make it to the beast is the question of the day today. Oh, my God. Because it sure as hell don't look like it. Normally you get quite a lot of soul hearts when going on the beast path, but today, nothing. The damage is there, but yeah, this has just been a truly low health run. Through and through. It's a cool ash run, but it's a low health run. There's a soul heart. Huzzah, huzzah.
Am I losing money somehow? I think charity is uh, making me drop my money. I was on like eight cents earlier, and now I'm not. I like, GB bugged that guy. I gotta remember that. I think one thing that's really helping with Tiny Planet here is swapping directions rapidly. It kind of makes the tiers stay in one place a little longer. Do a bit more damage to a single enemy. Yep, that's the way to do it. Just GB bug those enemies. That makes them significantly easier because they're no longer what they used to be. You little dog. Oh, what the hell? What? Where did that come from? Gotta be quick here. Gotta be quick. Gotta be quick. Gotta be quick. Die, 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 die. Let me out. 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 Woo. Holy. Right. One more floor to go. Only on two hearts. Two hearts and a dream. Oh, you managed to get me there? You tricky bastard. I didn't think he'd reach me there. So we might just die before we even reach it, to be honest. Let's just be prepared for that eventuality. I did. Eh. What's going on here exactly? Okay. I lived? That was... That was some BS. Anyways, that was a really fun showcase run regardless, to, despite just having no health whatsoever the entire run. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one.